Oh, hello, this is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please click like, subscribe, and share. Oh, welcome back. Uh, this Saturday, we decided that we're going to go shopping at a Korean supermarket called H Mart. And we decided that we're going to have dim sum for brunch uh, at a Chinese restaurant very close to H Mart. Uh, this restaurant is known as Ming Heng, and they are famous for uh, dim sum. Uh, the restaurant is located uh, in Naperville, which is a suburb of Chicago. After we uh, sat down at our table, they gave us this piece of paper, which is the menu that we could order from. Uh, there are 70 different dishes that we could choose. Uh, it comes in small portions, uh, hence the name dim sum. Uh, the word dim sum means little hot, uh, which could be translated into little delight. Uh, there are many different types of foods on this menu, all the way from steamed dumpling uh, to fried egg rolls, rice cakes, uh, chicken feet, squid, and many different types of desserts. A dim sum is uniquely Cantonese food. It originated from that part of China. Of course, now it has spread all over the world. And when I was growing up in uh, Hong Kong, dim sum was very popular as a breakfast item uh, because each order comes in a small portion. So uh, you can order many different things for one to two person. Uh, so for this morning, this is what my wife and I were going to do for our brunch. So what we're going to do is that we're going to take our paper menu and make a check mark on those items that we would like to order. The first thing we're going to order is a steamed bun. Now this steamed bun is interesting because after you steam it, they fried it on one side. Inside the steamed bun, there is a stuffing of which consists of shrimp, pork, and some vegetables. I believe the vegetable is some type of spinach. Uh, the next item we order is a uh, steamed dumpling. However, this steamed dumpling is very unusual because uh, the skin of the dumpling is made out of uh, gluten-free wheat flour and tapioca flour. Uh, the combination of these two kinds of uh, flour uh, give that clear appearance, and so it is also known as a crystal skin dumpling. And the filling inside of this dumpling is shrimp and chives. Okay, here comes the number three, uh, which is a dumpling that is made out of uh, skin that comes from rice flour. As you can see, the uh, color as well as the texture of the skin looks slightly different uh, from the other dumpling. And so far so good, everything tastes wonderful. Uh, they usually just bring one order at a time. And for this dumpling, in the inside, it also contains uh, shrimp, again with some type of a chives. So here comes order number four, and uh, my wife tends to close her eyes. Uh, this is uh, steamed chicken feet, uh, which is my favorite. As I'm chewing on my chicken feet and splitting out the bones, my wife finds it kind of disgusting. Well, things seem to be getting even worse for my wife, because the next item, which is number five, uh, is uh, tripes. Uh, for those of you who may not know, uh, tripes are the stomach of a cow. Uh, tripes is my comfort food uh, because I grew up eating tripes. Actually, my father-in-law loved tripes too, and he told me that when he was young, they do eat a lot of tripes. He told me that in those days, no parts of the cows uh, would go to waste. Uh, dish number six is another dish that my wife would turn her head away. Uh, this is the steamed baby octopus. Again, it's one of my favorites. Again, when I was growing up, uh, one of the food that sell by street vendors is this kind of a baby octopus. So don't worry, uh, my wife was not going hungry because I let her eat most of the steamed dumplings uh, as well as the steamed bun in the beginning. The final item, which is item number seven, uh, that we order is steamed bun with a custard filling. I believe this is definitely is a fusion item uh, because I do not remember the, ever growing up eating steamed buns with uh, egg custard fillings. Most of the fillings are with uh, red bean paste. Uh, by the way, the red dot on the top of the bun indicated that this bun is sweet. In this restaurant, we place the order uh, with that piece of paper that I showed you earlier, uh, and then the waiter will talk it into the kitchen and place the order. 
and then somebody will bring the order out to us and put it on our table. However, in the traditional dim sum restaurants, what they do is that they will have actually a cart and they will push uh, the items that they put on the cart and circulate around the restaurant. And then the customers will look at what is on the cart and order right there. We had a lot of fun uh, eating this brunch. And the dim sum gave me a lot of ideas that's something I could try at home. Even though I really enjoy my home cooked meal, but still eating out, particularly at uh, special and different places, is a lot of fun and provide inspirations. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please click like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time.